Hey guys, this is Bish Reviews, and today I'm here with another review, and it's Disney's The Little Mermaid Classic Storybook. Okay, let me begin with the review. On the left hand corner, it says Mouse Works, and here it is the Mouse Works logo. It says Classic Storybook from Mouse Works. It says Disney's The Little Mermaid Classic Storybook, and there's Ariel, Scuttle, Flounder, and Sebastian. It says, There is more treasure in books than in all the pirates lived on Treasure Island and at the bottom of the Spanish main. And best of all, you can enjoy these riches every day of your life. And there are all the Disney characters. And it says, Mouseware Classic Storybook Collection belongs to. And I've not written my name. So there's the Little Mermaid Classic Storybook. And there's Ariel, Flander, and Sebastian. Mouse works also available in Spanish and all those details of the books. So yeah. These classic storybooks have, you know, they exactly remind you of the movie. That's why I really love these kind of books. A few of them I would review them as well, slightly though. There's Atlantica and all those mermaids. If you want to read the story, you can just pause it and read it. <laughs> I would do that for you, but it would take a really long time because this book has many pages. There's Ariel going for the sunken ship. She is there. Yes, she should go for the sunken ship. And there's Ariel and Fender. Behind them is the shark. Here's the shark and Ariel and Flounder. Mm, she's my favorite Disney villain, Ursula. There's Ariel and she, they are being watched. His father is furious. There's Ariel in the grotto. Yes, he says this ship. The storm. Then Eric gets drowned. Ariel is helping him. There they are. Here's Ariel again. So she's here, turning into a human. There's every with legs. They meet just like that. I mean, that was like such a fairy tale come true. Like they meet just like that. Like men fight each other, I think. I will again like mention that there are a lot of important like scenes missing from this storybook but you know it's just the storybook and it, it has to have limited pages but I, I would really loved it if they had you know I would not even mind if they would you know like make a fatter book because I would love all the scenes to be you know present there's Flotsam and Jetsam doing their work and here's our so and I just you know just realize that she has brown eyes, but in the movie she has, I don't know, purple eyes, I think. She is hypnotizing Eric. There's Ariel.
of course, got a last scene in. Off to the rescue. <laughs> got a voice back of course now I would really love this scene like you know a scene where she would turn back into Ursula but that's missing in here and also a scene missing where King Triton is turned into a lowly creature and she snatches the crown yeah there are a few scenes missing I would not say missing, they didn't like, you know, thought it was important to keep. They were, there's the story written, like a full story. And also, I would have really loved a scene where Ariel would be turned into a human in that blue shimmery dress. Yeah, that's it. The characters again, and here's the book, here's the behind. So guys, here's the Little Mermaid classic storybook. I hope you liked it. And I do have other few books as well, and I would be reviewing that as well. So if you have any questions, any queries, you can comment below. And please do like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.